Hey loves, so today is going to be my June lifestyle favorites. I said in my beauty favorites video that I wanted to do a separate lifestyle favorites because I have a lot this month and I didn't want that video to be a decade long. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump straight into it. June was a very busy month. I started off with a trip in Los Angeles. I went home to Georgia. I went to Florida for my best friend's wedding. Then towards the end of June, we had a video go viral. And so I was kind of so busy that I couldn't even keep my head on straight. So you're going to notice a large month of this month's uh, favorites video theme is like things that are good for organization. I had to be organized this month. I'm not an organized person by nature. I'm one of those people who takes my receipts um, and balls them up my purse even though I know I need to keep them and then I will come home and put them in a drawer and not organize them until like months later. Before I get into those favorites, I'm actually going to talk about my favorite subscription box of the month which I did not do an unboxing of, like a separate unboxing, but it was my FabFitFun box. The summer box blew it out of the water, you guys. It seriously took the cake for subscription boxes, kind of of all time. Let's see, a full-size Tarte lip gloss, yes. A full-size spray moisturizer from uh, Vaseline, and these are really expensive and they're kind of hard to find, also yes. A wireless speaker for your phone, your iPod, whatever. Okay, I could not get over the contents of this month's box. I've never been so impressed with a FabFitFun fun box before. And I say that every single time that I get them because I feel like they're constantly improving. They're constantly stepping up their game. And they are a seasonal box instead of a monthly box. So they have a lot more time to curate their boxes, to put a lot more thought into them, to secure um, better deals so that they are giving you the best product possible. FabFitFun does a really healthy mix of lifestyle and fashion picks and beauty picks and everything in between. There's so much more in this box that I haven't shown you guys because I don't want this to become a full unboxing video, but if you guys want to get your own summer VIP box, I highly encourage you to. I do have a coupon code for you. It is $10 off of your first box and it will be down below along with a link to go and get it. So FabFitFun was a huge favorite this month. I loved my summer VIP box. It's one of these boxes that is so jam-packed and it is consistently worth your money. So yes, that was my first favorite of the month and now I'm going to talk a little bit about how I save organized. All right, so if you're anything like yours truly, I don't get the Erin Condren life planner thing. I, I know that that's really like not <laughs> a normal thing to say. I just feel like those planners are so expensive expensive and then I, I just I don't get it I don't understand and it works for some people but it's not how my brain can organize things I look at those and I'm like yeah all those stickers are really cool and it's very customizable but I don't have time for that I need to be like living my life and doing the things and not planning the things for hours so I actually found this planner at Target back in May and it started at the end of June this one was like five dollars and it has a very like Lily Pulitzer sort of feel to it with the um, print, although I don't really know if that's a good thing anymore. All right, so it is not very filled out right now just because I literally, this was the first week I got to start using this. So really and truly, I guess this should be a July favorite, but I'm gonna talk about it now. I will just like write out my videos. I'll also write out important information like um, appointments and stuff. And I would show you one of my jam packed pages, but unfortunately I have like interview times and things on there um, for things that I can't talk about yet, which I'm really sad about, but you guys will know soon and then I can show you everything. But I've really been enjoying this planner even though it is really new to me. My last one was very compact and while I enjoyed that and I enjoyed being able to bring it with me on like planes and my purse to organize, you know, what I'm doing or just bring it everywhere with me, I find that I really do need a lot of space to write down my life. I'm constantly in meetings and booking appointments and I have three animals so there are vet visits and I, I just, I always have so much to do so this has like pretty much saved my life and I really enjoy it. The other thing that's kept me really organized, I mentioned in my recent Los Angeles slash Georgia haul and it is this little desk notebook from the brand Versona and I fell in love with this. I've been using this like crazy. I'm gonna rip off this one which was full of stuff but every single week I will start a new one and on Monday I will sit down at my desk with my coffee with my coffee. I had to do that kind of slow because it's really full. And I will write down on Monday, okay, go to the doctor and then once I go to the doctor I will check that off or I will say film 
lifestyle favorites for June and I will write that down I will check it off um so it's really helpful in that aspect you guys there are flies everywhere in my freaking house I swear they keep like flying by and buzzing and I don't understand how they keep getting in here anyways um there are sticky notes on this side and there is a little like compartment where you can file like checks and things like that away um it's like an accordion style organizer but it's kind of hard to get into so honestly I don't use it that much you have to like untie this little string and that's sort of annoying to me but anyways this has been on my desk this has been my one true love and it has really kept me organized I think it's really helpful and maybe it's a little bit overkill with a planner as well um, but the planner is more for like video scheduling it's like okay I'm gonna post this on this day this is due this day um, I need to do this appointment this day and you know like have meetings and stuff like that whereas my list book is more for like short-term things all right so I just want to prove a point and I also wanted to mention this because it is a genuine favorite um, I mentioned toy blast this month and no this is not sponsored by toy blast but it was a sponsored video when I mentioned it and people were telling me how like I did not seem like the kind of person who would play that there's no way I actually enjoy it or I actually play it and I know my phone is busted but I need to show you guys that I am on level 177 seriously and I've been stuck there for days um I've been obsessed with this and I've been playing it like crazy it is one of those things where I play it a lot of the times right before bed which is not good for you because then you get really like sad when all your lives are gone and your brain like I will dream in toy blast sometimes um it is one of my favorite things in the entire world and I play with the app constantly the other app I wanted to mention is the app plant nanny and this I found through Megan Tonjas and she was saying how it's like definitely helped her with more water intake you literally have a little baby plant and you keep him alive by drinking water through the day I know you can't like really see with my cracked screen I think I have do I have six glasses? Yes, I think I have six glasses of water left today. <laughs> I'm kind of off the ball. But yeah, you have to keep it alive by drinking enough water through the day. Um, the other day I was in the ER for something. It's not as serious as it sounds, but I was in the ER for something and they fed me via IV and I got to put in that I drank um, 1,000 milliliters of water all at once. And then the next day, like I forgot to log anything because I was so exhausted from being in the ER and I killed my plan. But I definitely think like for normal use, usage like as you drink water through the day it's really great to help you remember um and yeah I really do like it a lot it has definitely helped me with my water intake and making sure I'm getting enough water and it's kind of addictive to know that you're feeding your plant and like keeping it alive and not letting it die okay so I'm looking at my phone just because I have like a list of things to mention the next favorites that I have are movies and I did see two movies well I saw more than two movies this month but there were two that were particular favorites the first one I mentioned on snapchat and I was kind of like meh but it was poltergeist and I have to say that it's not as good as the original poltergeist um I would not pay money to go see it in theaters especially if you live in an area where it's like 10 bucks to go see a movie no um for me my movie theater is very generous with like military discount and stuff so usually our tickets are like five bucks um but I just don't think it's worth going and seeing in theater I think it's more like a red box rent it was scary I guess it was an interesting concept but I didn't feel like it was done that well I felt like the story was kind of like whatever um and I don't know it was good but it wasn't that good it was worth being in a favorites video but nah. the other one is insidious 3 which I'm not going to spoil I'm not going to spoil but if you saw the ending my roommate and I when we were seeing the movie um he leaned over and whispered right before the ending that he thought that they were going to bring a certain character back and then they did at the very end of Insidious 3 so I'm quite excited for the next one. I thought Insidious 3 was interesting. It wasn't really scary. I think that those movies, I think that the first one was genuinely scary. The second one was like whatever and then the third one it was good. It was a good movie but I don't think it was scary um but you know I might be like a total badass now. <laughs> I might be totally immune to scary movies. Movies, so if you get scared do not come crying to me I'm totally kidding I'm like hangry right now we it is so late in the day it's 556 and we are about to go get Olive Garden and I'm just hangry and sassy okay so on audible this month I wanted to recommend I hate my selfie by Shane Dawson I mentioned it in my book haul on my second channel but I listened to that book like so many times I absolutely loved it Shane is hilarious and so interesting and he just seems like 
I don't know he just seems like a really genuine person and I really like the way that he tells his stories so I really love the book I listened to it like four times over it's definitely worth purchasing especially through audible plus I do have a link through them so if you'd like it for free I have a link for you guys down below and yeah go get I hate my selfie or any other one of their hundreds of thousands of books for free if you guys have any book recommendations that are good audiobooks let me know I really like books that are read by the author I'm reading Gone Girl right now but I feel like it's kind of slow and a, a little bit boring. Um, I think that the narrator is fine. I almost think that I just don't love the story that much. But anyways, if you guys have recommendations, just leave them down below. But I totally recommend I Hate Myself for your free audiobook through Audible. All right, so Netflix. I downloaded the Netflix app last month and I don't know what I've been doing with my life. I don't know why I didn't think about that before because I always just watch Netflix on my computer and then on my phone, I'm always just catching up on YouTube videos and my favorites. And then there was like a lull, like a slow day um, in my subscription feed and I couldn't find anyone to watch and so I downloaded the Netflix app and I do nothing else with my life now. So my favorite show of the month was definitely Orange is the New Black. No, I have not started the new season. I just finished season one and... I cannot even like fathom how much I love this show. You guys do not understand. I still don't like Piper. <laughs> I still don't like her. If you ever start to like Piper or if you're supposed to like Piper and I'm just not a good person, let me know because Piper is like the main character for those of you who don't watch Orange is the New Black. Like I'm really rooting for her and there are certain things I'm starting to like about her, but I just don't like her. Anyways, I really like the show. Um, I it is so addictive and once you start you literally cannot stop so I absolutely 100% recommend it if you have not already started it it's so good and there are three seasons out on Netflix so go go kill several weeks of your life my final favorite is a plug-in from Bath and Body Works and I plugged this into the nightlight plug-in in my bedroom and I fell asleep harder than I've ever fallen asleep before like I fell asleep faster um, than I have ever ever done in my entire life when I first had this in my bedroom. This reminds me of a lot and I don't know if it will necessarily do the same thing for everyone. It's just a very comforting smell and it's a smell that I've like pretty much had in my life since I was very young. So it means a lot to me and I really love the scent of it and it just is very calming. It used to be coconut lime verbena and this is not the same scent but it's very very similar especially in the wall plug-in. It's just not quite as citrusy so if you love coconut lime verbena the plug-in smells almost identical. Almost. There's a few differences but it's very close um, and this is what I pretty much have throughout my entire house now because I fell in love in love with the scent. And that is it for my June favorites. And it's so weird to be bringing this to a close. Um, I don't know what my voice just did, but it's weird to be bringing this to a close because my next favorites video probably won't be in this house. Um, my July favorites, I don't know if I will film them before the move or after the move, but we officially start the move August 1st, so I am so excited. For those of you who have asked, we are moving to Texas, and I'm really excited. And yeah, I think that's all for this month's favorites, and I'm going to go ahead and go, but if you did enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Bye!